Hey, what's up, you guys? Mike Donovan here with Shape Magazine. Today's workout is going to be a hardcore back workout for all those hard to reach areas in your back. For this workout, you're going to need a set of dumbbells. We're going to cycle through exercise to exercise. You'll be a hot, sweaty mess by the end of it. We are going to have a fun, good time. So, without further ado, let's get right in this. Baby got back. So make sure you have those dumbbells in your hands. From right here, we're gonna go into a deadlift to a row. All right, so from right here, weights come right between the legs, hips go back. As you come up, squeeze back, pull the shoulder blades tight. Bring it right back down, pull back. Down, back, down, back. So from a profile view, remember, deadlift, you hinge at the hips. Send that butt back as far as you can. And then as you pull up, squeeze those shoulder blades tight, working everything right here in your posterior chain. Probably fit in five more reps right here. Abs stay tight the entire time. Protect that back. Let's get two more reps. One more rep. Nice. So from right here. You can hold on to one or both those weights. We're gonna angle our feet out to the right. You're gonna bring this right up to your shoulders from right here. You're gonna angle that hand down as you press that weight all the way up. Bring it right back to center. So, while this does not look like a traditional back exercise, this is working every single muscle in your back and your core. Now, if you want to take things up a notch, take that right hand and bring it to your chest. You're going to force your core and your back to engage even more. Three more reps. Three. Yeah. Two. One more. Now, same exact thing the other side. Turn those feet to turn towards the left. Weight comes right there. Start off by reaching that hand down as you reach the opposite hand up. Bring it right back to center. But remember, if you want that challenge, what I want you to do right here, take that hand right to your chest and Keep going for that movement. So three more reps. Three. Ooh. Two. One more. And bring it back. Woo! Nice job. So from right here, we're gonna go into a single leg RDL with a row. So from right here, starting on the toe of the back leg, other hand comes behind your back, go ahead into our single leg Russian deadlift, pull back into a row, stand it up. Bring it down controlled. Pull back into that row, bring it up. All the way down. Row. Up. If you lose your balance, that's fine. All right? Not every rep is going to be perfect. That's okay. Just do your best to try and stabilize to keep that form over all else. So make sure that form's in check before you start increasing that speed or increasing that weight. Let's get three more reps here. One more rep. Nice. Same thing, other side. Switch grips, switch hands, switch feet. Bring it all the way down. Stand it up.
Whew. I need to focus way more on this leg. That's why I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Keep that back nice and long. Squeeze those shoulder blades tight when you pull back. Let's get three more reps here. All right, let's go for three more here. Three. Let's go two. And one more. Woo. Nice. Now, bring those weights into each hand. Bring those feet about hip to shoulder width apart. We're gonna drop it down into a good morning. All right, so right there. As you go from right here, you're gonna press out, bring it in, stand it up. All right, bring it down. Out, in, up. If this is too much on the shoulders, feel free to drop those weights and do this move exactly the same way, just without those dumbbells. Otherwise, send that butt back, keep that back long, press out, pull in, stand up. Three more. Three, two more. Two, one more. And, whoo, nice job. Now, from right here, we're bringing it down to the ground. So, keeping those feet wide, all right? Wide the shoulder width. From right here, you're gonna pull back into a row, press all the way up. Bring it in, back down. Pull into that row so you twist, press up, in, down. Row and twist, then press. Keep those abs tight, that core engaged. Pulling back strong in that row. Let's get one more rep each side. And, ah, nicely done. So now, bring those weights so they're close together. We're gonna bring those hands right outside of those weights. All right, so from right here, you're gonna go into a down dog of sorts, not exactly a down dog. You're gonna jump those feet in, so they're right outside those hands, pull back into a row, keep those weights close, jump it straight back. Back down into that kind of down dog, feet come in, pull into a row, hands come down, bring it back. So you get a nice stretch in the lats and the back. When you go back into that crouch, and then you work that back as you pull back into that row. Is it five more reps? It's our last move with those weights. Four. Three. Yeah, two. And boom. Nice. Now, set those weights off to the side. You're not gonna need them. From right here. Whew, hot sweaty mess already. Bring those feet together. Oh, <laughs> catching my breath. You're gonna hinge at the hips so that back is flat, nice and long. Hands come right down, thumbs up the entire time. From right here, straight up the middle. Bring it down, right to the side. Bring it back down and diagonally back. Back down. So you got an I, T, Y. I, T, Y. 
Right here, working the erectors of your spine, working those rhomboids, your posterior deltoids. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Two more reps all the way through. Ah. Ah. One more all the way through. Up, side, and back. Oh man. Whew. Shake everything out. Last move, we're gonna bring it down to the ground. I'm gonna make sure those weights are out of the way so I don't bang my head. So, from right here, you're lying down on the ground. So bring it down gently from right here. Starting with those hands right in front of you. Don't connect those hands together so you're able to get a little more movement. From right here, you're gonna lift up with the upper body only. From right here, you're gonna pull back, bring that chest up a little higher. Then from here, you're gonna reach back to touch your butt, reach up even higher. In, down, all right? So you have one, two, three, four. Oh, Woo. we're in for it. Let's go. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Ah. One, two, three, four. Woo. Yeah. Ah. 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 So up, back, tap the butt, back down. Whew. Up, back, tap the butt, back down. Whew. Let's get three more reps. Up, back, tap the booty, back down. Yeah, yeah. Tap it and down. Last one. Ah. Up, back, tap. And down. Let's get one more for a good measure. Up, back, tap, and oh, bring it down into child's pose right here, just to stretch out your back. Take as much time here as you need. Amazing job, you guys. As you can see, I am a hot, sweaty mess, and it's only been 10 minutes. Remember, if you want a longer workout, repeat this one to two more times for a 20 or 30 minute insane back workout. But I already feel like I'm standing taller and prouder and everything in my back feels swole ass. I hope you guys are having a great one. I will see you next time with a brand spanking new workout. Until then, bye. Remember, if you like this workout, be sure you check out more of my workouts on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Mike D Fitness.